What's up, y'all? It's Chase Dogs. Today, we're going to be working on a 17 horsepower Bose Twin. Uh, there's a model number right there. I believe this motor was made in 07, the last two numbers right there. And uh, I don't know if y'all need any of that other information, but that's your model number right there. Today, we're going to be removing the starter because uh, the motor's kind of weak when it turns over and it gets really hot like almost on contact so I believe it's not pushing enough power I've got a, another starter I'm going to put on it's not new but it's you know, fairly strong enough to be able to pull this motor over uh, what I found is uh, these bolts right here now a 10 millimeter will work on them but uh, the real size is a 3 8 you're gonna have one over here, one over here, and then you're gonna have the same on the other side. You're gonna have two on the back, you're gonna have one over here next to the starter, and you're gonna have one over here by the dipstick tube. You're gonna want to remove the dipstick tube also, and you've got one more right there on the right side looking at the motor, uh, right underneath the uh, uh, air box and you got one more right over there by the PCV valve on the left side of the motor okay and that bolt right there on your starter is going to be an 11 sometimes you can find an old wrench like uh, you know just an old wrench that you're not going to really use anymore and you can grind it down on the edge right there to be able to fit it in there I'm not gonna do that just because I, I don't want to spend the time on grinding down the wrench so I'm going to take a pair of pliers on one end right there and I'm gonna put my 11 uh, millimeter wrench on that part right there the reason why you want to do this is because you do not want to turn this whole piece right here inside there is a brush and um, it's all connected onto one piece and if you do spin that right there you'll wind up stripping out the threads that are in there and you'll never get it out you'll just have to cut this off and you'll have a have to tear down that starter and all that now I was mistaking a being one bolt holding this dipstick tube on but there's two and those bolts are going to be a 5 16 uh, socket like I said you can either use a quarter inch drive or a 3 inch drive it's just your preference on what you want to use either one will get the job done now to keep your bolts from getting lost you can put them up here in this uh, air cleaner tray just make sure you close that butterfly valve to make sure none of your stuff goes down in there I just find this right here to be kind of helpful for me to put my stuff in there because you don't want to lay them up here and then get knocked off and you'll never find them again so just put them up here and they're easy to find easy to get to when you're finished now up in here is kind of going to be a tight spot so what I'm using is a 3 8 extension I'm just going to break that loose right there I'll take this off hoping that this motor it can completely shot I believe that that starter is just the only problem but um, you know I'm just gonna have to see once we, we uh, replace it and hopefully that's the only issue this motor looks like a pretty good running motor I've never fired it up I had it on an old lawnmower before and I just got this mower a couple of days ago and I'm just now getting to it. Let me get these other bolts taken off. I'll come back. Now this one right here. I think somebody's been into this motor before. Or maybe a bolt fell out and they just replaced whatever. Uh, with whatever that they had laying around. That's a 10 millimeter. And I can tell that this is in bolt. It goes with this motor because this is really tight. It's not on anything that's going to bust the engine block. I, I believe that there's a metal shield underneath here that uh, 
has something to do with the air but um, it's not anything that's going to bust so if you do run into this problem that you have a, a bolt that is stuck you're not going to break anything you're just going to strip out that um, piece that's in that uh, sheet metal that's underneath this uh, fan housing right here so don't be alarmed if you accidentally break the bolt off you'll be able to get it out once you get the uh, fan housing off all right we're on the last bolt right there it's that 5 16 on the dipstick tube now once you get this one almost all the way out I believe that you can just lift this up yeah just like that be careful with that dipstick tube because uh, now some of them might just come right up out of there and oil's going to go everywhere now I've got one more up here I forgot just, uh, just a little Phillips screw and just to keep your, uh, your wires and stuff like that out of the way Ooh, that was kind of tight, but we're going to get it out of there. Remember to put your, your, your bolts and stuff in there. Make sure that's closed. You don't want anything falling down that. Now I'll be able to move my wires out of the way. And uh, I think we'll be able to lift this up now. Just like that. Oh boy, that is yucky. Lay that up there on my steering wheel. It wouldn't hurt to get some emery cloth and kind of uh, get those uh, uh, magnetic points that that uh, that the coil right here would uh, hit against. You can. Uh, like I said, get some emery cloth and kind of clean it up a little bit so you have good contact when it does start. Well, I think I have found the problem. And it is the starter. I've never seen anything like this before. But watch this. You ever seen a starter do that before? You know what it's doing, right? Moving back and forth. Yep. I believe that that starter is completely gone. It might can still be really built, but we're going to have to tear it apart and find out. But I do have that other starter laying over there. I believe that's going to be a half inch. Let me check. Yep, that's going to be a half inch. And I prefer y'all use a, a 3 8 drive. About to say half inch drive, but no, you want to use a 3 8 drive on taking them bolts out. Now you're going to have one over here, you're going to have one on the other side. I'm going to have to figure out how to get to that other one. Hang on just a sec. Alright, right underneath here is a bolt. Right in there. Can't see because uh, there's not a screen on my camera. But if y'all can see that, that is going to be a half inch. That's going to be the same size as that other one that was right there. I thought I was going to have to take this uh, metal piece off back here. And uh, if you really have any problems trying to get into this, I believe that one right there is going to be a 5 16 and it is. Um, yeah, these bolts right here are going to be 5 16 If you have any problems trying to get in there, get into that area right there. You can just take this heat shield off. But I'm going to take that bolt out right there. And that's the only one holding that starter on. Alright, there we go. Got the starter removed. and I think I might keep this and see what might be wrong with it. And I'll have to post it in another video. But yeah, that one's junk. Wasn't too hard to get that bolt out right there. This is the length of it. And it just, uh, once it got all the way up there to the top, I kind of knew I was out of room. And they give you just enough space to be able to pull that starter right out of there without any problems. I was lucky I didn't have to take that big old thing off. See, there went my bolt, but I found it. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea anyways, putting all that stuff up there, but I don't know. 
it, it's going to have to work. Yeah, let me get the other starter put on there. We'll get this job done. All right, there we go. Got them both in there. Now it's just a matter of putting it all back together. I did clean that up a little bit too, just like I said. You might want to, just because uh, it does hit that coil and it does. You do want to make it have good contact. All right, got it all put back together. Now it's just a matter of hooking up my throttle linkages and putting my starter cable back on. I'm gonna fire it up. We'll see if it runs. All right, here we go. I'd say that right there fixed the problem. So yeah, once I get the carburetor and everything put back on, it'll be finished. We can uh, I do some riding. Just chase dogs. I'll catch you.